Hey, what is going on guys? You're here from Maji and Jay. Today, super excited that I finally got here my AutoVox rear view camera, guys. I got this directly from Amazon with the Prime service for only $138. And in my opinion, anything that has this word in it which is safety, it is always worth it. This particular camera will be installed in my wife's car, which is the Toyota 4Runner 2013. Unfortunately, her vehicle is not equipped with a rear view camera, so for that reason, installing this will make it 100% worth it, as I mentioned before. So again, it's only $138, and this company actually has uh, some pretty good reputation according to some of the reviews that I read already. And uh, here we can see, guys, that well, the box is pretty clean all the way around. So it comes with some cards, it comes here with the user manuals and as you guys can see this is the T1400U and here we can see the transmitter, we had the rear view camera and also the rear view mirror with a 4.3 inch display on here and here next what well, we got the product of course this is the rear view mirror, I'll be showing you this in just a second here and then it comes with some accessories that are required for you to get this thing powered on. So basically this is your power adapter that goes on the front side of the vehicle. You have to run this wire, hide it around the pillar and the dashboard until you can get it connected here to this connection that comes with the rear view mirror. So you guys can appreciate. So, so far, I mean, this is just really elementary level to be honest with you guys. And here you can see that it goes connected uh, only one way. There's no right or wrong. It goes connected like so and again connect this to your lighter and that's all you have to do um, this adapter as you can notice comes with a usb port so that way in case you guys need to use it to charge your phone or whatever the case may be then at least you know you can do it with this particular adapter which is really really nice then we have here some more accessories for the rear view installation we have an extension cord Okay, um, this all depends on where exactly you will place the transmitter, which I'm going to talk here in just a second. It has some mounts for different uh, windshields. Um, as you guys know, you probably have a rear view mirror, so you have different adapters so that you can hook it up, which is really simple. In this case, I'm using a Toyota, so it is the standard one that pretty much every vehicle uses out there. And again, here we have some more adapters. So this is really self-explanatory, guys. We even have a uh, Allen uh, driver here so that way we can remove the screw located in this piece here and also I think this one will also fit your vehicle uh, I'm talking about the OEM one that is currently on your vehicle you can use this to remove it as well which makes things a lot easier and here we have the actual transmitter let me take this out for you guys real quick so this is the part that goes in the back side so so far what I've shown you goes on the front side Let's keep this separate. So all this goes, uh, actually this goes on the back side here. This all goes to the front, the front, and that's it. So anyways, here we have the transmitter. It comes with double adhesive tape. So that way you can uh, mount it somewhere. And inside here we have the antenna for it. This is a 2.4 gigahertz system. So it should be okay for up to 100 meters. But I'm pretty sure guys that not even a limo is 100 meters so you should be more than okay when it comes to the signal reception from this little transmitter. So here we have the antenna and then this part here which I'm going to show you later, don't worry guys this is not the complete tutorial yet. This is the ground, they even label the wire right there ground and this is the positive. So basically you connect this to your positive on the uh, reverse light which is the white one it could be either or uh, you know either left or driver side or passenger side it doesn't really matter and then this goes to the ground so you find um, any screw that is currently attached to the metal uh, surface on your vehicle and that should give you ground which is really really simple then here we have this um, connection okay so that you can hook up the video in and also some power as well um, and then here we have the actual camera. This goes attached to your um, license plate. Then you simply run the wire on the inner side of the vehicle and you find your transmitter and you simply connect it. That's it guys. It is that simple. I will have to guess that the hardest part maybe for a lot of you out there is going to be powering 
this thing on, finding a place to install this. That might be the most challenging part, but it's really not that hard. I would say this installation, even if you're a newbie, it should take about 45 minutes or so. So without further ado guys, now that we know everything that comes inside of the box, let's go here to the Toyota 4Runner and show you exactly how to get this done. All right guys, so here we have the 4Runner 2013 that I was mentioning before. This is the tail light and on the bottom here we have the reverse light as you guys can appreciate. The cool part about this 4Runner is that we don't need to disassemble the tail light in order to get to the wiring. It has this harness for the reverse light and I think I have located the positive and ground wire, which is the black and white wire that you guys see in the corner. And the red wire will be the positive. So I wanna test it first by just simply connecting the wires here into these two holes that you guys see on the bottom side of the harness on the bottom right. I'm going to test it first and see if it works. And then all I have to do afterwards is peel this a little bit more. So that way I have better access to the wire and get the transmitter connected. All right guys, so what I did next to ensure that the wires that I mentioned before were really the positive and the ground is that I attach the wires coming from the transmitter, which are these right here. I attach the positive and the ground into these two wires, again, using the harness, as you can appreciate right there. And then I place the vehicle in reverse. And right now, as you guys can tell, it is working. So this is the camera right here. Again, I attach the camera as well to the uh, transmitter. And here we can see the connection. This is just for testing purposes. And now the camera, as you can tell here, is working. I connected here the rear view mirror to the backside of the truck and it is working. I recommend that on your vehicle, you do the same thing before you complete the entire installation. Now what I plan to do next is run the wires through this opening back here. I may have to take off the tail light then I'm going to run the wire through this rubber piece all the way up to this opening and then I'm going to run the wire all the way here until I reach this side I'm going to have to remove this panel as well and then I'm going to release the wire through these lights right here so that way I don't have to drill any holes that's my plan so far so let's see if it goes as I expect it to Okay, so this is my progress so far after removing this back panel. I was able to loosen up here the 4Runner logo by accessing some 10 millimeter bolts on the inner side here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this is one of them. This is another one. Here we have two more, one on the inner side here and about two more on the other side. If you guys own a 4Runner, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Again, this is for any vehicle guys, but in this particular case, this is what I had to do. And then here you guys can notice how I removed a cover that was placed right here in order for me to run the wires through. The cover looks like this. And this is gonna go back in and maybe the wire is gonna go on the lower side of it because it does have like a gasket so that water doesn't get inside of the door. And this is my progress so far. Here you can see the camera already. And again, this is how I ran the wire. It goes through here. And if I lift this a little bit, you guys can see the opening right there. So that was perfect. Now it is time to assemble this back part. And then now we're gonna try to run the wires through here so that we can access it on the inner part here. And as you guys can tell, I also had to remove the tail light. That way I have better access. And then to run the wire, I had to go through this rubber piece right here as I anticipated. Now I had to stop right here because I have no access to this hole. I was planning into um, moving this wire into here and the transmitter is actually underneath this piece as you guys can appreciate right there. I know it doesn't look very clean, but these trucks are very, very hard to um, get wires through. There's a lot of blockage all over the place. I attempted to, but I wasn't successful. So this is the best that I could do. Now here I ran the wire for the power, which is this one right here. I ran it through this pillar and that went easier. And now all I have to do is plug it in here. I have to cut the wire 
or use some sort of uh, connectors. I think that these will work fine, the ones that came included with the whole kit. I don't know exactly where I placed them at. I think they are here and I can use these connectors and everything should work as we planned. So now it's time for reassembly and then we're gonna move to the front side of the vehicle. So here we are now inside of the 4Runner guys and I was able to install here the rear view mirror very easily. It literally took me about three minutes to complete the installation and it has to do because well you don't need any tools to remove the old mirror. You just basically lift it and it comes right off. And let me tell you guys, Autovox did a very good job making this compatible with pretty much any vehicle out there. And as you guys can tell, to run the wire was also very easy because this thing uh, flexes a little bit, as you guys can tell. So I was able to run the wire here on the passenger side. The only thing I had to do was remove those two little covers that you see on the hand grip. And inside you're gonna find two 10 millimeter bolts to remove the pillar cover. Then you run the wire here through the dashboard or the glove compartment and I was able to run it through. And then I just removed this piece, which is held by clips as well. I just pulled it out, which is really easy to do as well. And I pinched the wire in here. And that's how I got it connected to the 12 volt lighter connector. And now everything is working perfectly well, guys. So that's very cool that, well, at least on the inside, there's very little that you need to do. Again, it literally took me about three to five minutes approximately. And now everything again is working. I'm gonna place here the vehicle in reverse. And now you guys can see that the camera just came on. And by the way, this is how nighttime view is. Right now outside, it's completely dark. And you guys can see that it does a very good job. I'm gonna move the vehicle here a little bit. Right now I am reversing. And each line is gonna give you about two feet of um, distance. So when you guys see those lines that I just show you, let me place the vehicle in reverse again. Each line, again, represents about two feet. So the green line is about six feet away. The yellow line is about four feet. And the red one is about two feet away from the object. And that's, well, you need to stop by that point because you're about to hit something. So anyways, guys, it is really easy to use. You can also eliminate the lines by cutting a little green wire by the transmitter on the back side. If you cut it, the lines will disappear. In this case, I decided to leave it on as I find it uh, very useful. And again, guys, everything is working as intended. And if I park the vehicle, this thing turns off. And again, if I place it here in reverse, I'm gonna show you guys, these are not tricks. It comes right on. So again, I think Autobox did a tremendous job, guys, with this product. It is really, really cool, very useful. And again, it has to do with safety, so it is definitely worth it, especially since this thing can be compatible with any vehicle. And by any vehicle, I mean any make, model, any year, which is really, really nice. With this being said, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this product. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you on my next one.